Hello, good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an author, and addiction recovery coach, and life coach, and the host of this show, The Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to my channel at YouTube under Take Your Life Back Today show. Friends, like the Super Bowl, the Stanley Cup, or even the World Series, remember what team you're on. What team are you on? <clears throat> I'm on the team of Jesus, the team of faith, of hope, of love, peace, and joy. That is my team. Here are some words of message that I gave at a church around the holidays. In Matthew 14, I said, where I quoted, your emotions say you may have done enough, you're upset, you're tired, or there's nothing else you can do. Friends, but we, we get to follow our convictions. We get to follow our convictions that tell us we can bring faith, hope, and love to people every single day, every moment, even when our emotions say we don't have to. <clears throat> In John 6, 1 through 14, I know there are so many times in our lives where we don't feel like we have a lot to give to Jesus. We don't have a lot of uh, energy. We don't have enough money. But I truly believe it doesn't matter how much you give. It doesn't matter how much you give to Jesus. It just matters the intentionality and the heart behind giving. It's about the act of giving of yourself and your time to Jesus. He is our MVP, uh, MVP on our team, and we just have to give him the ball. When you feel inferior, when you feel like you're not enough, you don't have enough, you, you're not talented enough gifted enough, run into the presence of God and he'll find you and fill you with courage. Be strong and courageous for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go in Joshua 1, 9. You, you are a child of God, a son or daughter of the King. You have created uh, and you were created in love, by love and for love. There is a great plan and purpose for your life. My prayer is that if you feel less than, than you do, if you're doubting, if you're anxious, or if you feel insecure, that you listen to the voice of truth, which says that you are more than a conqueror through him who loves you in Romans 8, 37. When people look, when they look at your life, they will uh, say that you have a purpose and you're living in pursuit of that purpose. The master is about to arrive and I want to encourage you to start living with a sense of urgency for the loving people. Make it as clear as you can to all who you meet that you're on their side, working with them and uh, uh, not against them. Help them see the master is about to arrive. He could show up any minute in Philippians 4 or 5. Call me at 844-405. Help together. We can help each other. Take our lives back. Be good to yourselves. Always be good to each other. Remember, a simple smile to that stranger, that old lady, that old man down the road can change their day, can change their life, and it can change your life. For God so loved the world, he gave us his son. How many of you fathers and mothers will give you up your son or your grandson? For the sake of humanity. Well, God did it for us. He gave us his son. Jesus hung in that cross for us. May God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, God truly loves you and cares for you.